Hi everybody, so today we're going to be taking a look at iOS 5.1 on the iPod Touch 3rd generation. So we'll be exploring the new features in this update on this particular device and comparing it to iOS 5.0.1. So first of all, we're going to be taking a look at the changes they've made to the user interface. So first of all, they have updated the arrow on the slide to unlock slider. So it looks a little bit different now. You can see it's got a little bit more depth to it. Um, there's actually like a line through it and it's two different colors. So it's lighter on the top and darker on the bottom as compared to what it looked like before. You can see that it was just all one color. Um, now previously they did have this look for the arrow only on Retina devices ever since iOS 4.0. Um, but they've just now finally brought it to non-retina devices in iOS 5.1. Now also, they have made the slider itself a little bit narrower, and this is because they redesigned the lock screen camera shortcut in 5.1. So if we take a look at 5.0.1, you can see that you can access the lock screen camera shortcut by double pressing the home button, and then the camera button will show up here. You can see that when you do that, the text changes from slide to unlock to just unlock. But now with 5.1, you can see that the camera shortcut is always present and you now just slide up to access the camera. Um, so in order to make everything fit, they have shrunken down the slider a little bit um, and they've also made the text a little bit smaller on those devices with a camera. Um, but even though the iPod Touch 3rd generation doesn't have a camera, um, they've still given it that narrower slider. And they've also made the slide to power off slider narrower as well to match the slide to unlock. Next is in the notification center and you can see here that they've made the corners of the notification center a little bit rounder on 5.1. Uh, not sure if you can see that but they're just a little bit more rounded off, 5.1. All right, so now let's get on to the actual features here in iOS 5.1. So first of all, in the clock application under timer and when timer ends, you can see that the sleep iPod button has been changed to stop playing. And this now works for applications other than the built-in music application. Next in settings, general and about, we have a new license tab here now. So before, if we look, you can see that we had regulatory, so uh, I guess that is now missing. Um, I don't know if they've included that in any of these other tabs here. Doesn't look like this information is under license or legal notices, so I don't know what happened to the regulatory. Um, but you can see that they've also renamed the legal to legal notices and added the license tab. Within the music application, they've now added genius mixes and genius playlists for iTunes match subscribers. Next in photos and under your photo stream, you can now actually delete pictures from your photo stream, which you could not do before. In Safari, on the address bar, you can see that it now actually says go to this address, where before it was just blank. Also, if you open Safari when there's no pages open, you can see that it no longer pops up with the bookmarks. So next in Settings, and General, and Accessibility, if we go into Assistive Touch, you can see that they've made quite a few changes here. So before, all of the assistive touch features would show up even if assistive touch was turned off. You can just see that um, create new gestures is grayed out when it's off, but then it shows up. But now in 5.1, once you turn it on, then the options appear like that. You'll also see that they've appeared to have removed the always show menu and the tracking speed in 5.0.1, but I don't know how to actually use these in 5.0.1. I don't know what feature you have to have turned on in order to be able to use those. So I don't know if they've been removed or not in 5.1, or if you just have to have another feature turned on in order to access those. But nevertheless, um, they've made a couple improvements to the create new gesture. So you can see that when you're drawing a gesture, it looks a little bit different. So there's a lot less shadow on 5.1. And also it looks a little bit thicker. 
and you can see once you finished, it's a little bit more concave where this is more convex. And when you do a retake, you can see that it kind of overlaps in 5.0.1, but in 5.1 it just kind of merges into what you've already drawn. And additionally, you can no longer have taps in 5.1, so not sure why they removed that. Going into the actual assistive touch menu, there's nothing really new here except if you go into the device tab and you change the volume, you can see that they've now just put the volume level right into the menu rather than having it appear behind, so it looks a little bit nicer. Finally is a bug fix. So in 5.0.1, you can have this thing called nested folders. So basically what this is is folders within folders. So if we create a folder and then quickly drag in another folder, you can see that you can actually have that folder in the other folder. Um, however, if you try to tap on that folder, then it just crashes your device. So it's frozen and then it just goes back to the lock screen. You can also actually have news stand within a folder on 5.0.1. So by doing the same thing, if we make a folder and then quickly drag this in, you can see that you can have news stand in a folder, but again, it just crashes your device like that. So if we try to do the same thing on 5.1, create a folder and then quickly try to drag that one in, it will not let you. And of course you can't have news stand in the folder either. So just a little bug fix there. And that is basically all of the new features in iOS 5.1 for the iPod Touch 3rd generation specifically. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one, and peace.